Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 3 Legacy of Persia. Now I know everyone is playing Rostam at the moment, but I put up a community poll and over 70% of you voted for Rostam, so Rostam it is. Uh, who knows, maybe our playthrough will be a little bit different because we all know I find new ways to mess things up. Uh, Rostam's family has a pedigree, almost unmatched in the known world. His father's lines are some of the last of the Sassanids, whilst his wife traces her descent back to the near millennium old Arachids of Armenia, Arachid, oh dear, you guys already know the pronunciation is going to be bloody terrible in this series. Uh, old dynasties and ancient faiths endure well in mountainous Tabaristan, where Dalamite mountain lords cling to generation long grudges, and many Rostam amongst them still grapple with the new dominance of Islam over the traditions of yesteryear. Can you reclaim the venerable glories of the birthright, or will you embrace the modern world. I think we're gonna try and stay true to our family. Maybe try and revive the Sassanids. We'll see though. Uh, you guys know I like to wing it as we go along and we'll, we'll see what pop-ups. So let's, as for the game rules, we're gonna put everything on default. Let's apply that and jump straight in to the new DLC. Now I will be trying to roleplay a little bit, but that doesn't mean necessarily playing historically of course. It just means playing to our, our character traits and the stories that we managed to get ourselves intertwined in. So what do we have here? The Iranian Intermezzos. This is the big part of the new DLC, I think. Bloody civil strife embroils the once unassailable Arabian Empire. A ruling family murder and war with one another, competing to usurp the caliphate. Iraq uh, realms whilst beyond the eastern mountains, Persian frontier lords take advantage of the situation to assert their independence. Building empires of their own from Baghdad's rubble. With the masters of Islam locked in perpetual crisis. This is an opportunity like no other for the bevanded house to become masters of our own fate. And carve our name into the annals of history. You are one of the involved participants. So we are involved in the Iranian intermezzo. Okay, so what does that do? Well, I guess we'll look in a moment. Uh, the region is currently in phase of unrest. Your actions and roles of the other participants will determine the future phases of the struggle and its ending. So what do we get? So in unrest, we get plus 100% supply limit, friendly territory levy reinforcement rate plus 100%, and a lot of stuff here. Quick note. Part 1 will be a special 1 hour episode because we have a lot of stuff to look at because there's a lot of new things and I want to make sure that I read through it so I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes though. So the install loyalist Caspali is unlocked for the supporter of the Caliphal Authority. I don't think we have that. We're not supporting. Uh, offer vassalization removes the disloyal trait from recipients if successful. Subjugation Cassis Belly is cheaper for the holder of the Sunny Caliphate. I don't think we have that. Uh, request incursion is 50% cheaper against the Caliph. That's a new mechanic we need to look at. Mercenary higher cost is cheaper. Advantage when commanding all armies. Advantage in same cultural heritage provinces. I think we have Iranian culture heritage. Uh, levy size is up, but garrison size is down. Right, that's the war stuff. We have a crap ton of cultural effects as well. Befriending involved characters gives prestige. Helping a claimant of the same culture. Taking a title gives prestige. Vassals of different cultures are more likely to use the minority vassal stance. And then we get a bunch of opinions and stuff there. What about faith? Completing buildings provides piety. Demand submission interaction is unlocked for the Caliph. Level of devotion factors into offer vassalage. Piety can be used to increase acceptance in marriage proposal. That sounds nice. Converting a county gives piety. And converting an involved character gives piety. And then some... Oh, we get more tax contributions. It's cheaper to build temples. And then we got a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Building construction time much faster. But there's also more danger, I guess, because, I mean, the region's in unrest. That makes sense. Abandon hook interaction. Ah, we lose stress and can abandon a hook. Okay. We can claim from against involved rulers. Uh, successful sway increases the success chance of offer vassalization. Successful sway schemes against disloyal vassals have a chance of removing their disloyal trait. House members challenge their house head to trial by combat. Oh dear. Uh, dissolution faction is less common, but claimant factions are more common. Dissolution factions cannot be used against the Sunni Caliphate or the Arabian Empire. And hostile scheme success chance is up. Oh, look at that. Claim from power is plus 100%. Insane. Uh, and control growth actually decreases when at war. May Allah be with me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to check out. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a good old look at Rostam here. What traits are we playing with today? So first things first, we, we do have OK Marshall. 
15 martial, uh, and we are a skill tactician, so we're probably going to go with that lifestyle focus. And we do get bonuses for leading our army, so that's probably going to be the way we do things. We've got diligent. Rostam does not shy away from hard work. We are just. Rostam has a strong sense of justice, but we are cynical. Rostam trusts the self-interest of others above all else. We are a logistician. I still can't say that word. <laughs> if there's one thing that Rostam knows, it is how to make supplies last and last well. That would be useful in our wars. And we are a detractor of the Caliphate, so we don't support them. Unlocks the Ferment Revolt interaction. So we can invest gold in order to motivate the peasant faction in another realm. If they have county with negative popular opinion. Unlocks the request incursion. Finance any Turkic, Turkic heritage ruler to conquer any of your neighboring rulers. That sounds strong. Unlocks a decision to search for a new faith. Opinion of detractor. Okay, and then we got opinion stuff here as well. Right. Uh, only six prowess, which kind of sucks. Should we go ahead and pick a lifestyle focus? We're going to go with Marshall. And if we're leading the men... Probably strategy and then go down the gallantry. I at least want stalwart leader just so we don't die when commanding. But let's go for strategy focus. That sounds good. I notice we also have a sword in our infantry. Uh, in our inventory. A Sassanian sword. Said to be a remnant of the old Sassanian era. This sword is embellished with several gemstones and features intricate patterns, making it a magnificent sight to behold. Well, nowadays it is too fragile to be taken into battle. Perhaps this sword was once held by a hero, now lost to time. Maybe I can be the new hero. So we've got prestige, renown. We get more knight. Knight effectiveness is nice. Vassal tax contribution uh, and romance scheme power. So let's go ahead and equip that one. It'll be nice to start with that. And let's go ahead and take a look. Where is it? I think in here, yes, we have the new unity stuff. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm already getting overwhelmed. So we are currently impassive. What does that do? Why spend time and energy to care what the rest of the family is up to? These house members tend to mostly care for themselves. First and foremost. So we get impassive succession. Under impassive succession, the lion share titles will go to your player and the rest will be divided between your children. Okay. House members may challenge their house head in order to take their place. Ooh. And monthly lifestyle experience plus 10%. So do we want to go up? So everyone is friendly. Oh, but there are some negatives. Cassus belly cost increases. Our dread, dread decay also um, decreases. Hmm, and we get less monthly lifestyle experience. Rescue house members Cassus belly. Is this if they're imprisoned? Maybe. Unify the house. Um... It doesn't tell us what it is, though, right? I don't think so. Uh, friendly succession. Under friendly succession, the lion share titles will go to your player. Okay, it's the same. What about if we go harmonious? 30% more castle belly. But house members can befriend each other. Okay. What if we go down? Is there benefits to this? So castle bellies are cheaper, but house vassals are more likely to create claimant factions. And then we get competitive succession. Oh, that's that makes succession much worse. Oh dear, all titles would div be divided equally. I want to keep the lion's share. But I mean, Cassus Belly are cheaper though. Rulers have unlimited access to the invasion Cassus Belly. Wait, what? Oh, that's so strong. Okay, we'll have to see what we do with that. We'll, we'll see where the, the role play takes us and whatnot. We got tax jurisdictions as well now. Are you good at this? Uh, you're the only man I have for it. So we currently have one taxpayer. Can I see who that is? Yes. Okay. You and you're giving me 0 0.04 taxes. Wow. Uh, and we got contracts. Here. So we're currently on basic taxes, which does nothing. What does this do? Plus 25% tax multiplier. Oh, oh, this loses taxes, but gives us other benefits. Wait, men at arms damage. Okay. That could be insane later on. This loses a lot of taxes, but we gain prestige and development growth. I think, oh, this is plus 50% taxes, but we lose all our levies and vassals lose this. What if I pick this one? Wait, what's all this? Vassal privileges? The liege cannot demand conversion of the vassal. Okay, I don't like this. What about this one? Plus 25% tax multiplier. We get plus 1% domain taxes, uh, liege per vassal. Uh, monthly piety. Oh, this is for the vassal. But they lose 30 opinion on me. That's fine. We're going to swap over to this. I think that's okay. We can't change again until 872. So, five years? Every five years we can change this? Okay. 
Do I have a wife? I do. So she's also got a heritage. She, she is of a different faith. Can I go ahead and demand your conversion? Hopefully she accepts that. I also do have a son. Let's go ahead and pin him. Uh, he hasn't got any traits or anything, but that's fine. We are... Yeah, we are Ashari. I think that's how you say that. Although... We have a secret faith. We practice Mazda Yazna in secret. It's a Zoroastrian faith. I wonder, if we look at our decisions, we can reveal our true faith down here. I think timing for this will be important. If we do it too early, we're going to get absolutely slaughtered. I mean, look at all the, the hostile faiths around us. I think Ashari will consider us. Uh, let's see. Can I find my other faith? I think I can do it through here. Whether we consider them hostile or not, I assume so. Yeah, they consider us hostile and we consider them evil. So we would be in a little bit of a, a problem there. Uh, How is our building? So it's a unique building. <gasps> it is Mount Damavand. Stationed men at arms, toughness plus 20%. Development growth plus 30%. Danger minus 30. Levy size in mountains plus 50%. We get more stress loss. And Mountain Danger minus 10, a great snow-capped pinnacle steeped in ancient lore. Mount Damavand is said to be the prison of the monstrous tyrant Zahak, where he will abide until the end of the world. Many heroes of old have performed great feats on this mountain, and to those who travel there today, its mighty presence seemed to touch the very souls. A dormant volcano, its slopes are dotted by hot springs, where weary travelers can stop and relax, pondering the deeds of the ancient. We also start with some simple stone quarries, so we're earning a little bit of gold. Uh, don't we also have this? Yeah, but no unique buildings over here. So I'm going to keep this as my... It's in the mountains, so it's easily defendable as well. Uh, aren't we... Yeah, we do have a liege above us, which is a little bit of a problem. This fella over here, he's got 600 men. He's got 200 men at arms. I have 300 men at arms. They're not stationed yet, though. Let's see. So what bonuses do I get in here? This doesn't boost anything. This just gives men at arms toughness. I'm wondering if we put the pikemen in there. Because they already have high toughness, they might scale better. So let's put the, the pikemen up here. And then the bowmen, your, you fellas are going to go down here. There we go. Let's station those before we go to war. Can we afford a war straight away? Before we do that... Yeah, we're not going to be hosting any grand tournaments. <laughs> it's way too expensive. Oh, I need a court physician. We need to sort the council. <laughs> it always takes a little bit to sell up initially in Crusader Kings, but that's why we're doing a, a longer episode today. So, wife, you're not that good at much, are you? I'm just going to keep you on assist ruler for the moment. Would have been nice if you had more marshal. Oh, we can have secondary spouses as well. We should go and get some of those. So, let's see. I really want... We have a good spy master. We have a good marshal. Yeah, these two are okay. A chancellor is kind of okay as well. What about a steward? We don't have a steward. Okay, in that case, let's see. Do I have my, yeah, unmarried female? Wait, first, we need to check the culture and faith. I think only male members can serve as council members. Let's look. So, Ashariism, we have legalism, fatwa, struggle, and submission. If one exists, the head of faith can declare a great holy war when the faith has high fervor. This is for high learning characters. Uh, what am I looking for? It's down here somewhere. Uh, is it all the way down here? No, that's clerical gender. Ah, male dominated. It's right there. Okay, yeah, so only male can serve on my, my council. Right. I mean, as a there, you're going to have to find me a, a steward. Can you find me one of those? Uh, I mean, this fella's going to have to do, I guess. We'll, we'll invite him and whatnot. Can I get some secondary spouses? Oh, Amazonian and pretty. Oh, we have to. And that even gives me an alliance. Where are you guys? Okay, you're over here. I might do this. An alliance would be nice. Let's send off that proposal. And then if we go here, I'm going to marry her because she's pretty. And then can we get another wife? Let's see. Let's go traits inheritable. Um, a genius would be nice. Let's sort by age though. If we can't get a genius, intelligent would also be good. Let's see. I mean, they're still in their 20s. Why, why don't we search by genius? This would be much faster. Okay, there's no geniuses. Right. But there were a few intelligent lasses in here, weren't there? Yeah. What about Parand? She is intelligent and she's only 22. Um, hopefully she can educate some of my children. Speaking of which, Shervin, 
Are you only one? We don't need to pick your education just yet. Okay. My brother can also marry. Let's see. Probably alliance power. Hmm. They're all a little bit young for you. Who's this? You're up here. You're not that far away from us, are you? So maybe we do this. Yeah, let's go ahead and send off that one. There we go. That's all fine. I'm not employing a wet nurse. Let's go ahead and appoint you as well. We need a court physician as well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My father's already dying. Oh, he's got cancer. Okay. Right, our father's going to die. Um, you guys are all terrible. At being a court physician, I can claim Legion's title. I can declare wars. We don't have many champions. Yeah, they're not very good either, are they? We don't have accolades, but that's because we need to be feudal, I think. Speaking of which, let me quickly check this. My liege is our faith. We consider them hostile. Oh, modify vassal contract. I could get religious rights. No, I can't because I need a hook. That could be a problem, uh, but we'll look. Right, let's unpause. We need to go ahead uh, and get the marriages and whatnot. Kortu has agreed to conversion, so my wife has converted. Uh, these marriage proposals are going to go through. Let's get the council organized and then everything's going smoothly. We should probably seduce a wife or two. Let's see. I should have a new steward now. Zand, I think that was you. Yes. Right. You'll collect taxes. Let's go domestic affairs. Uh, your religious relations. You can train the commanders and you're going to go and disrupt schemes for now. Do we have maximum control? We do. And we don't have any nasty modifiers. Oh, the faith is wrong though. Ah, we need to convert the faith. Okay, let's do that. How long is that going to take? Four years. That's... But then if we convert to this faith... I mean, we can't convert right now. We're going to be in problems. So can I declare war against our neighbor here? No, because I don't have a casus belli. But can I declare war on this fella because he's independent? I can. I can conquer his county. And he's only got 600 men. We have more men at arms and we do have an ally. That could be something we'd look at very early on. Oh, you know what I missed? I didn't look at this. So, to end, we're currently in unrest. I think it swaps between unrest and stabilization. And eventually it ends with concession. But if we look at the endings, I think, I mean, a basid human uh, humiliation. We could dominate the caliph or found a new caliphate. But if we plan to swap religions, maybe I don't go with this one. Renewed Caliphate. I'm liking this one. With the Abbasid Caliphate shaken in its foundations, the time has come to cast off its yoke once and for all. Forging an alliance between true shahs, I can restore the dignity of Iran and reclaim the glory of old. So we get the Persian Empire, which I really, really like. And we get the nickname the Flame of Persia. Well, look at this. We get... What? What? 2,500 men at arms? We get 5,000 prestige. Our dynasty... Uh, the Sassanid dynasty, which is us, yes, uh, gains the flames of Persia, which gives us a whole load of buffs. Re increases Iranian heritage offer vassalage acceptance, increases demand conversion acceptance, 10,000 renown. So I think we're going to go for this one. So what do we need? I need to be kingdom rank or higher. I need to be exalted among men. I need at least 30% of the Persian Empire. I currently have 0%. <laughs> and we need one of these. I have two Iranian heritage allies that hold a kingdom title. Or at least 40 Iranian heritage counties in my realm. I have two. Uh, not sure which will be easier. At least 60% of all involved or interloper counts or higher share the Iranian heritage. 56%. I mean, as we conquer, we're going to have Iranian vassals. So we can bump that up ourselves, I think. So we're going to go for this one. Uh, that's a lot of requirements to remember, but it's it's mostly to do uh, with conquest. So let's unpause. We'll wait for a few more things to go through. Excellent stuff there. Uh, I should have a few wives now. Which one was the intelligent one? You. Can I start to seduce you? 85% chance. Right, let's start that. We'll get some schemes going. And I believe we can start with this early war for Gilan and expand our territory to the west. Uh, and then maybe... Rise against my leech. Oh, he's already got a thousand soldiers, but they're mostly levies. I think wars end faster now, too. They adjusted the war score. Okay, let's go ahead and declare the war. I might call in my ally just to be safe. Oh, that was super cheap. 
Super cheap. Men, we are already going to war. <laughs> the Persian Empire will be mine. Right, we need a court physician. Um, You guys are poor at it. Ah, oh, you're not even good at learning. I mean, you're pretty sure. If I get injured, uh, I want a pretty nurse. I can call on my dynasty member. That costs me 75 renown. Um, or I could call on an ally. 150 prestige. 75 prestige. Where, where are you guys again? You're up here. Should I call on them just to be safe? Also, I keep hitting the bloody mouse on the, the keyboard. Let's move that over. Where are you guys? You guys are over here. I might call on them just to be safe. I don't want to lose my first war. Yeah, I, I still have PTSD from my last series, guys. <laughs> Against the, the Byzantines. Right, raise the army, lads. We will be leading the men ourselves. 33 commander advantage. Oh, it would be terrible if we died in this first war, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're going to go straight for the capital, though. Let's speed things up. Uh, I think we can afford to speed up time a little bit. Greetings, Sheik Rostam of Mazandaran. Of course, I should join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the men of Aul Umari. Excellent stuff. Uh, and you're going to join the war as well. There we go. So let's make our way westwards. Oh, is that new unit models? Oh, they look super cool. Also... I realized the helmet changes. Let's go ahead and fix that because in the character selection, we actually have a different helmet, which is headwear. Here it is. We are wearing the peacock helmet. Let's go ahead and save that one. It looks much cooler, doesn't it? Uh, it looks like we're, we're ready for war here. So they're defending in mountains and defensive buildings, but we have a better army commander and more soldiers. Should I wait for my allies before we do this? How close are they? Or do we want... I think it's better to end the war fast, right? Um, let's also go ahead and put, go on organized army. Just because I don't want to lose too much. So let's go ahead and attack them. And now we'll see if all my mods are working. They are! The Battle of Gilan is underway. Um, it's a close one. Their spearmen are doing good things. But my pikemen are, are also doing okay. So how did that battle go? We lost 200. Uh, and we killed 200. Oh dear. Um, our levies actually did the best for us. Oh, they have... Okay, their knights did really good for them. Our knights didn't get so many kills. If we go over here... Oh, one of my knights has already wound, uh, wounded as well. Very nice. <laughs> 18 months to siege too. Oh, what a start. Are they going to keep coming back and attacking me? Oh, my father just died of cancer. We're already getting stress. Uh, we have organized service though. Holding taxes plus 5% is nice. Appoint a tax collector. Oh, my father was the tax collector. Oh, you're terrible. Is it, is it really only you that I can pick? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll appoint you. You're not even earning me any gold, though, are you? Maybe that's something that will come into play um, as we progress. My counselor has just died from his internal injuries. Oh, my spy master is dead. Right. Uh, my wife can serve as my spy master, at least. She doesn't like me. Is this the one that I'm swaying? No, that's the Amazonian one. Okay, hopefully she doesn't betray me. Uh, of course, in this time period, there was a lot of intrigue and whatnot. And I'm wounded now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my wife treated me. Oh, <laughs> no, we, we picked a good physician. Oh, dear, that was, that was scary. Right, new law, limited crown authority. Ah, I forgot to check this. I could also pass limited crown authority. Why not? Let's do that. We, we need to get it up and we have enough prestige there. So we lost 195. We killed 148. They are trading better. Although, we did kill one of their champions, which will be good. Our allies should be here soon as well. I say, hopefully. Um, okay, there's one army here and there's one army here. Oh, we're in another battle. Yeah, our allies should arrive by the time this becomes a problem. Right, how did we do in this one? 139 to 107. They're still killing more, but we killed another one of their champions. Offer guardianship. Greetings, my amicable vassal. I would like for your young son and heir, Shervin Bavandid, to be raised by Cambers, a most skillful guardian. Ah, he's not that skillful, though. I must decline. If I decline, his, uh, his house unity changes by plus two. Not mine. I'm going to decline this. Oh, we need to be changing the unity? Although I'm happy to sit in the middle for now. 
Um, I'm not worried about going one way or the other. I am worried about this constant battling over here, though. We should beat them again, but we're, we're taking a lot of casualties here. It, it's it's not optimal, is it? 74 for 75. Okay, we're trading even, but two of my champions got wounded. That's not cool. Uh, but reinforcements have arrived. Do not fear, lads. For on the third day, the reinforcements have come. Look to the west. <laughs> Oh dear. All right. Another battle. Jeez. How's the war score? 49% now. Three wounded again. They got a very good army. Okay, but they're not going to attack us now, surely. There's no end to the opinions and wants of my son and heir, Sherbin. Half of the time, he is trying to tell me what to do instead of the other way around. Ah, he has become bossy. Right. So, martial and stewardship, eh? Do you want to go? I think we should focus on Marshall just because we're going to be doing a lot of war. So if I go ahead and educate you now, um, my wife here, she has slightly less Marshall than me, but she is intelligent. So I think we're going to do this. Uh, I could convert culture. No, let's not do that. We're, we'll keep Dalamite here. Let's go ahead and send that proposal. Hopefully my son grows into a, a formidable commander one day. Uh, now the battling's over. Let's speed this up to five times speed. Aha! One of my wives is already pregnant. Resisting conversion with five years. Levy size and taxes is reduced. Oh, that's not cool. But what is cool is we won the war. Our first victory to claiming the Empire of Persia. Greetings, Sheikh Rostam of Mazdaran. May Allah destroy your house. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demand. So be it. Okay, so let's disband the men. Now, we are within our domain limit, which is nice. Uh, but we do have control issues. Where was it? Uh, oh, it's in our capital as well. So let's fix the control issues here first. Um, I just need to... There we go. Quickly pause and unpause. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> let's go ahead and increase control here. Oh, it's not something we can fix. Okay, let's go ahead and do the control over here. Oh, this is terrible news. Greetings, Sheikh Rostam. I know that you are a secret believer of Mazda Yasna. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. If we accept this, he gets a hook on me. Which can be powerful. He, he could take gold, he could change my contract. If I decline it, he's going to expose my secret faith. And already, we're going to be running into problems. Oh no... Do I expose my secret faith? Will it replace my actual faith then? I don't think we can do it right now. The best thing to do here is accept the hook and instantly try and rebel against my leech. So the, the hook goes, but he has the secret. Can he still expose it once he has a hook? I don't know. We could try to murder him. I think we murder him. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, I'm going to accept the hook for now. And then... To solve this, we need to start a murder scheme. Only 25%. I am just. I know I am just. And it goes against my traits. But we cannot afford to let this secret get out. So we're going to murder him. Um, am I critical stress? No, I'm not. I'm fine. Uh, and then what I need to do is find secrets most likely. If we try and find secrets here, that's going to take nine months. Maybe we can get someone to join in with this. Uh, and that will help. Okay, so we can declare more wars, but I think we should take it slowly. Let's slow down a little bit. I also want to consider building up my capital. Um, that's this one. So we've got a quarries. Is there anything else that's going to give us a, a lot of gold here? Cattle pastures doesn't give us a lot of gold. Um, not really. Stationed light cavalry and stationed heavy cavalry. Heavy cavalry. What's our special men at arms? We've got Zupin spearmen. Uh, we've got camel riders. They are a light cavalry. However, oh, we're not going to get this soon. There are new dynasty legacies now. Where do I see this? Uh, is that the right... Ah, dynasty. There we go. Uh, dynasty legacies. They've changed the UI again. So brilliant. We get more tax jurisdictions. Uh, we get aptitude for master assassins, court scholars, chief Oadis. Master assassins. Oh, we should get a master assassin to help us. Personal scheme power, personal scheme success chance. We got stewardship stuff, uh, hostile scheme success chance versus dynasty members. Okay, uh, this isn't it. Oh, it's this one. We get a unique 
archer cavalry unit. And look at that, 90 damage. It's going to be a while before we get that. What's embellished capital? A decision that enables you to improve your capital at the cost of a recently conquered county. Oh, so is that like taking development from one and moving it to another? Okay, that sounds interesting. The thing is, we can't make use of these right now. So I think what might be good is just going for a gold building. Uh, and that seems to be cattle pastures. We don't have anything else currently. Yeah, I mean, this gives more... Uh, it gives taxes and gives cavalry, but we don't have cavalry right now. So 150 gold, we'll get the cattle pastures. That's fine. Now, I need to take a look at my culture. We haven't looked at this yet. I think there are some new things in here. So we have swords for hire. Wanderers gain extra combat skills over time, such as martial prowess or commander traits. Knights in mercenary courts rapidly gain prowess. Idle courtiers are much more likely to become wanderers. Um, we get travel speed and travel safety. Okay. Starlord Defenders, gold from winning defensive wars. Okay, but we're going to be doing offensive rather than defensive. But it's nice that we have that. Mountaineers. Oh, okay. We get some bonuses in mountains, which is nice. Isolationist. Oh, we lose diplomatic range. That sucks. But we do get control growth. 0.5 per month. So that's going to combat the minus 2. Minus 0.2 when we're at war. Nice. And we can get Zupin Spearmen. Light Cavalry and Heavy Cavalry Maintenance plus 15%. Skirmisher Maintenance is down. Though. Do I have any Skirmishers? I do not. Maybe we could get some of those. Uh, but alas, let's unpause the game. <laughs> There's so much to, to read up on uh, and whatnot. I think the next thing, yeah, let's murder the leech and then we'll see where we go from there. The celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over. When Shakyak Paran suggested a reading... Is this just her title? Her actual name is Parand, right? I gotta learn this now. Uh, a clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guest would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress her. I think... Hmm... Let's be entertained, why not? As the clerk reads for us, Parand seemed completely engrossed. She later approaches me, good choice, Rostam, she says, and runs a hand through her hair. Oh, it was great, wasn't it? We got smoldering chemistry. Oh, the wife's already loved me. It's good stuff. Good stuff over here. Okay, so we... Wow, the Abbasids are huge. <laughs> How are we going to fight them? This is why we can't expose our, our secret faith yet. Because we'll be absolutely crushed. Um, wait, wait, what was that? I didn't get a chance to read it. Why did the game not pause? Oh, come on. I mean, I still have a secret. I don't know what that was about. We're not at war. I have my titles. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay, the game doesn't pause on that pop-up for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I've completely missed it. I'll have to look at the recording after. Um, a tax collector, Panna, provides me a report of his latest survey of the realm and outlines a matter of great concern. Malij! The way that Wally Bozorg manages his lands is completely unacceptable. Much more could be done with the lands of Tamisha. Should they have a competent caretaker? Instructive tax collector. Oh, clan vassal tax contribution. Yeah, let's remind all my vassals of their responsibilities. Um, why is this got a warning? Oh, because I cannot change it. I mean, they're not paying taxes anyway. Why are they not paying taxes? Is it because they don't like me? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it might say if I hover taxpayers. Uh as long as a tax collector is appointed maybe they're just not earning enough to actually give me anything that could be entirely possible that could be with a babe cradled in her arms tamina looks up at me her face surprisingly serene husband dearest i think we should name her tamina after me what do you say do you know what my wife i think that is a lovely idea on the topic of children though if you guys have any name suggestions for children, leave them in the comments. Try to keep to one or two, just so everyone has a chance to name children. And I'll put them in a Word document. Um, so I need a, a name for my son, and I also need a name for my daughter here. Um, I can rename her? Yes, I can. So I'll, I'll pick names for those in the next episode, or part three. Depends when this goes live and I record the next one. Oh, my, my wife is pregnant once more too. So the men at arms, yeah, we are replenishing. So where do we want to go next? I mean, I can't declare war on these fellas. I could declare war on the leech. Ah, he's very strong. And we're converting faith, so we can't fabricate claims. I mean, there are a few guys up here that maybe we could declare war on. Yeah, no, they're just too strong, aren't they? They've only got a thousand, but they've got allies. These guys are very weak. 
what if we tried to take this land, but they are on a mountain? We're not gaining much prestige, though, so I can't really afford to call in allies. Hmm. Who becomes your player heir is this guy. Oh, he's going to become very strong. Oh, dear. Uh, greetings, Rostam. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets. Very well, you know best. Okay, instead of this, then, let's put you on support schemes. Uh, and that goes up to a 62% chance. Maybe we can do this. The servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with roses. As Parand enters our chambers, she smiles eagerly and joins me without any hesitation. With the helps of hands, mouths and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before Allah. Perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. As we are united in marriage, we are now united in heart. She becomes my lover. Can I make all my wives my lover? I think the next one I should go for is probably my spy master wife. So let's see, if I try to seduce her, 75% chance. Let's try that one. <laughs> if I can keep all the wives happy. Uh, I think that keeps most of our problems at bay. Now, I know I want to convert Faith here, but at the same time, I really, really want to fabricate claims as well. I think taking on this guy would be useful. He's quite weak. Yeah, this guy's a little bit stronger. I think taking... What's this? Ruyan would be good first. Let's see, if I were to fabricate a claim, it would take 12 months. How long? Two years left on this. I think we can afford to wait a little bit. Hmm. I mean, popular opinion minus nine. I mean, we've already started converting the faith. Let's wait for the faith to convert first, and then I will fabricate a claim. Marshall perk available. Okay, let's get strong leader. So that's going to give us safety when leading the armies, at least. Also, if we go here, we can request an incursion. I don't think this is useful right now, and no one would accept. But maybe something we'd look at in the future. Once we're a bigger kingdom, we could do proxy wars or whatnot, which sounds fun. Oh, I've never played in this part of the map before. It's it's so new. What's this? To the amicable Rostam are calling you to honor our alliance and join me in the Egyptian du jour war for the Emirate of Eastern Desert. Um, 2000. Oh. Oh, they're strong. Oh, they have so many allies. And you? Oh, no. <laughs> If I did not, if I decline this, I lose so much fame. <laughs> and he loses opinion. I can't. I'm sorry, my friend. I know you helped me, but I can't do that. Oh, I'm disgraced now. It's the lowest possible level of fame. The next level is established. We get secular opinion minus 10, minus one knight uh, base value. Oh, that's terrible. Plus vibrant and soft as the first light of dawn. A merchant presents me with an exquisite carpet in the hopes of good future relations. As I marvel at the fine weave I am struck by a thought, wouldn't a carpet like this muffle the treading of feet? Even conceal the steps of a bumbling agent? Ooh. Ooh. I think he would be honored by such a gift. Ah, crap. He suspected something was off and now he has more um, scheme resistance. Ah, oh, no. I mean, we still have 62% chance at least. I like that. Uh, and we have given birth to a daughter. Well, we haven't, but my wife has. Let's just uh, confirm that one. She doesn't have any traits. And we'll rename you once we have a list of names to go off of. How's the sun looking? One marshal. That's, that's not promising, is it? That's not promising at all. We need a little bit more than that, my wife. So what decisions do we have here? Destroy the caliphate? That is probably one we would like to go for eventually. So we need to be a king. Uh, we must not have the Sunny Doctrine, which if we convert, that would be fine. We imprison the current Caliph. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Holy Order is normal. We can form the Sultan of Rum. I think that's normal as well. Promote Persian scriptures. The Arabic language has long been viewed as superior, especially in matters of faith. The time is ripe to challenge this belief. Promote Islamic literature and Persian and translate important hadiths. I, I, I don't think we're going to do this one because we, we're not going to keep to Islam, are we? Uh, found a new faith for Persia. Again, I, I don't think we're going to do this one. Become a caliphal supporter. We're also not going to do that. Steer house unity. Ah, that costs piety. But I want to save my piety for favor skilled outsiders. Ooh. 
Okay. Um, that gives us some council members that are from other heritage, I think. Uh, search for tax collectors. We don't need to do that right now. Uh, I want to make sure we have at least 250 piety so I can reveal my true faith at some point. Hopefully before I die, but we'll have to see what happens there. Oh, the prestige has dropped. We're getting a little bit of gold though. Controls going up, converting the faith. Let's go on five times speed as we transition uh, to the next war. Not every gift has to be a grand statement of wealth. Smaller things can make a far greater impression, as long as they are chosen well. I wonder what Saman would appreciate. Hmm. What would she like? I mean, she's Amazonian. She's got Intrigue and Martial. I think... Let's see. Catches people attention. She's a resentful paragon. What does that mean? This character is very honorable and can safely be trusted to keep secrets. Somewhat vengeful. I think a stuffed fox uh, will certainly be unusual. Uh, thank you so much for the stuffed fox you gave me. I can scarce remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. Oh, there we go. So we got budding interest in the scheme now. So that's going to give us 75% chance. I think it just increases progress, right? Uh, my neighbor has won a war. Okay, let's progress with that one. Um, oh, all the catalysts are being triggered now as well. <laughs> Cultures diverged too. Uh, my sister-in-law's giving birth to a daughter. Okay, let's call her Nor. We'll leave that one. Oh, we have enough gold to build now, too. The celebrations are coming to an end, and the evening's entertainment seem to be over. When Saman suggested a reading, I think entertainment. Let's do entertainment. Uh, good choice, Rostam. Beautiful. It was great, wasn't it? And now our success chance has gone up of uh, uh, seducing her, too. Right, let's get the cattle pastures built. That's going to give us some more gold income. Which will be useful to get some men-at-arms. I think men-at-arms are going to be extremely valuable. In fact, how much does a men-at-arms cost? Uh, let's put this over here. This costs... Does it not say? It just says missing. If I create pikemen are 67, whereas bowmen are 49. Let's max out the bowmen first then. Uh, with my lean, my son Shervin and his wet nurse parade into my chamber. As it poses like a herald and proclaims, My liege! You witness a monumental occasion. Shervin is a mighty gift to offer you. She nudges him forward. Go ahead, Shervin. Tell him. Father, I lost a tooth. <laughs> uh, I could give him five gold for the tooth. Because if I do that, now I could equip it and we get a very tiny amount of prestige. Or I could destroy it and we gain uh, 35 gold profit. I'm going to do this. I, I do like it doing uh, uh, the, the tooth trade. I guess we can call it. My court, Iman. Um, Jamasp has laid claim to the sheikdom of man's Darren. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, you're below me. You, you control a city. You want to go to war? Apparently, there was a strategic marriage between our dynasties some generations ago, and which is now leveraging into an inheritance dispute. These claims are entirely fabricated, but there was enough uncertainty that they pose a real threat. Should others support them? Does he really think he can get 350 prestige? Oh, that's him though, not me. Oh, I thought it said me. Oh, I was scared. I mean, what the hell, man? Why? I can revoke your title. I mean, it's not even tyranny. Do you know what? I'm revoking your title. Get out of it. <laughs> How are you going to rebel now, you fool? <laughs> he's not even in my court. No, he is. Uh, no, he's not in my court. He's over here. Right. Um, I need to give away this to someone else because it's a city. Could I give this to a family member? Let's see. Dynasty Sassanid. Uh, my half-brother. He's not landed. Brother. I'm going to give you... Oh, you follow the true faith as well. Okay, brother. I'm going to give you this and I'm going to protect you. Wait. Okay, I did give you the right one. Oh, that gave me a panic then. Uh, I can negotiate an alliance with my brother as well. Let's do that. And I do need now a new court chaplain. Oh, crap. Oh, I don't have any unmarried woman in my court. Can we even get a court chaplain then? Yes, I can. Um, you're my steward, though. Okay, but you have more higher stewardship. So let's reassign you. And then we'll get our new steward in here. Uh, yes, you don't like me very much. Oh, you hate me. <laughs> oh, you hate me a lot. 
Who's my regent? The wife. Right, let's put you on fill coffers. Hopefully, she doesn't betray me. What we could do now is get more bowmen. So let's do that. We're prepared for the war. Uh, and we can unpause. The faith is almost converted. So then we can start fabricating claims as well. Greetings, my amicable liege. I am honored by your request and we'd be glad to call you an ally, my dear half-brother. This is marvelous news. One day, I assure you, our religion will be widespread throughout the land and we will rule together. The servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with seashells. So she has now become my lover. So another wife is now my lover. Beautiful. Um, which wife is now not my lover? You're not my lover. What about the main wife? I should probably keep her happy. <laughs> so let's try... No, no, no. Wrong button. Let's try and seduce this wife. 50%. Oh, it's a bit lower. Maybe it's because I tried to seduce the other ones first. She thinks uh, I think of her as less important, maybe. I don't know. I have to convince her with my seduction. What's this? A poem from someone else's chancellor. Oh, our neighbors down here. Ah, a fellow vassal. Okay. It's called The Time of Heritage. What man does not hope to rest when tired? In glorious memory with hearts desired. It is rare enough for men to admit. But all they leave behind is shit. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. I've only had that once before. It makes me laugh every time. Uh, Mohammed, I, I can say this is truly heartfelt. I bloody love that one. And we do now have 250 piety, which is very nice. Um, which means, oh, we can find a new faith. Well, I don't want to do that. No, I want to reveal my true faith one day. My agents are prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired. And the duck was gifted to Cheyenne alone. It will be rubbed with the poison, and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. But deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. He thought that he could blackmail me. I'm going to show him that I am not easily blackmailed. Bon appetit, Cheyenne. Enjoy your roasted duck. Oh, please say we murder him. Please, ah, we failed. It's been thwarted. The poison did not have its intended effect, but merely left the non-bedridden uh, for a week. Thankfully, it is thought to have been nothing but a common illness, and Cheyenne is none the wiser. Well, if at first you don't succeed, we must try again. I am not a quitter. 62% chance again. Ah, oh, four years. I mean, we will succeed. Either that or I'm going to do a war for independence or overthrow him. Uh, we have another daughter. <laughs> right, you guys better... Um, I'll tell you what. Leave two names, suggestions, um, uh, and then we can use them. Where you go to be strong and wise, my daughter. Uh, we'll put them all on the list. Right, you've converted faith. Beautiful. Now we can move on to our next thing, which is fabricating a claim over in Ruyan. Um, let's do that. So that's going to take 13 months. They don't have any allies, though. They have 300 spearmen. How do we counter spearmen? Cavalry. No, 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 no. Uh, they are countered by heavy infantry. I don't have heavy infantry. Okay. But the good news is he doesn't have anything to counter my spearman or my, my bowman either. And we got pastures now, so we're getting more gold. My wife's pregnant. We got another martial perk. So let's see. Do we keep going down the strategist tree? This is rain speed, travel safety, army movement speed, travel speed, um, spearman screen. Screen is just when you run away, though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to run away. I want to win. This is cavalry. Let's see. Heavy infantry, spearman, toughness. I mean, I think we want to go down the hit and run anyway. So let's get organized march. Then we'll go for hit and run. Because that'll buff our, our pikemen uh, by a nice amount. My name is Vahid, my lord. I have come before you to offer my wisdom. My vassal who brought the man before me looks skeptical. He approached the castle riding a donkey, my lord. Backwards? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, uh, this fella here, up 20... 27 learning. Oh, and he's loyal. Please share your wisdom with me. Wait, can he join my court? Gains 10 opinion. Um, rejoins my court. Yes, join my court. Let your knowledge bless the whole court. Oh, oh, I can't change you, though. Okay, but what I can do is replace my court physician with you. Oh, that's so good. 27 learning. We're never dying again. Also, um, where's my master assassin? Do we have a master assassin yet? Oh, we don't have it unlocked. Is it a royal court thing? 
Ah, we might just need it to be unlocked. So do we have anything for hostile schemes? Like supporting them? No, only defending, right? Yeah, only defending. Okay, that kind of sucks, but we're, we'll work on that in the future. I think I am now stronger than my leech. At least more manpower. So maybe a war is there. Uh, we have had another daughter as well. Oh, she's Amazonian too. Beautiful stuff. Uh, may you go to be strong and wise, my daughter. I need to check something. Oh, I lose 150 prestige. Oh, that sucks. Where's my secret religion? So, oh, I got that secret now as well. So, oh, it's still male dominated, right? I was hoping maybe we could have um some of my uh, daughters serving as champions one day. So we're still in unrest. We're not out of unrest yet. The fabricate claim has now triggered as well. So we could be going to war soon. Let's slow down the four times speed. Five times speed is way too fast. With the new CPU. Greetings, Rostam. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the Sheikdom of Ruyan. All that is missing is one little bribe. 90 gold. See it done. <laughs> We're in debt. Uh, combat practice. Oh, you've increased this. Are we on train commanders again? No, we're increasing control. Okay. Uh, you've gained 20 opinion on me. Very nice. I am in debt, so I can't declare war. So let's go back up to five times speed, because now we're going to have to get out of debt. Do I have any prisoners? No. Okay, that's fine as well. Look at that. Already five children. Already the pinned character list is growing. It's insane. Hurry, my lead. You have to hear this. The wet nurse Azadeh rushes me into my daughter's chambers. Azadeh points at a rang docked in excitement, so I lean towards her and listen. Be be banded. <laughs> I can't do that pitch anymore. <laughs> How delightful. Oh, my! she can speak. Oh, we gain a little bit of prestige. Which, yeah, I need. I've lost all my prestige. Again, I, I'm having prestige problems. The 10 days of the dead? As the end of the old Persian calendar year approaches, it is time for the Farah Degan, an ancient festival commemorating the souls of the dead. My wife, Tamina, has become noticeably silent and almost despondent putting out food offerings for ancestral spirits by the doors. You should go lit the lamp, she tells me, to welcome the Fravashi spirits, for surely your ancestors are watching us now. Beyond the thin walls of this material world, think of Shervin and the other mighty forebears of your house. My great-grandfather was a great man. Oh, of course, my dear. She gets thinking about death for five years. No, I think we will. Um, I, uh, We do have great ancestors. We are descendants of the Sassanids. I think it's important we do this. My spy master has come to a grave news where we do not yet know who someone is plotting against me. Oh, please don't say murder. Please don't say murder. My, my wife's pregnant again. Claim the throne. Okay. <laughs> At least it's not murder. Oh, this is taking me back to the Shogunate mod. Everyone's bloody claiming the throne now, are they? You're a perceptive man, Rostam, but I do not like you that way. Eh? Only Alan knows what the future might hold for us. Uh, of course. Sure. Um, are my other wives my religion, by the way? Uh, Asha, yes, they all are. Okay. I wonder if they will convert to my, my other faith. Oh, we, we fabric... Oh, no, we're not out of debt yet. We can't declare war. I'm ill? What? She could peasant, high or low, it doesn't matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding from my head and throat. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. I am feeling fine, so do no more than what is necessary, please. Bahid brought me a concoction made from buckthorn and senna. At first, I thought the potion ineffectual, but later the same day, I felt a churning in my bowels, which sent me running for the privy. <laughs> As I howled in anger, Bahid assured me that the foulness was expelled with my feces. In the end, the cleansing turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little bit brighter. Oh, it actually worked. He gave me diarrhea, um, but diarrhea is exactly what I needed. Uh, we could go to a hunt. The problem is, I mean, we need the prestige, but the problem is I don't have the gold to do this. How far away is your hunt? It is right next door to us, though. I mean, uh, how much chance of danger here? 47% chance. How much gold would it cost just to get a, uh, a mountainet? It's only two gold for a mountainet. I think we should go to this. We don't need a caravan master either because it's literally right there. I think we should go on the hunt. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and join Muhammad's hunt. It's right next to us. Uh, you have been recruited to my entourage. My acquaintance Muhammad is hosting a hunt in Dumbawand, and the time has come for us to depart. I should be able to proudly represent the House of Bavanded. And as my health is failing, hopefully this hunt should help take my mind off things and alleviate some of my stress. Oh, we're still ill, though. Um, oh, crap. I mean, I hope it goes well. I hope I don't die in the hunt. Hopefully it doesn't. It's not that far. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, Muhammad has started on the preparations. His gamekeepers check the highlands each day for signs of quarry while building a camp closer to the hunting grounds. My bird grows restless, waiting, knowing it will soon be unleashed. Oh, it's, um... It's like a falcon hunt. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and progress this one. We'll go on five times speed to skip through this in a little bit. Aglab, Sheikh Mohammed's master of the hunt, summons the party to gather as the light reaches the camp in the valleys near Dumboand. With any luck, we'll find a husk of hares and our hawks will have great sport. The beaters teams are ready with the hounds and a well-appointed spot has been selected. Let's get out there. Oh, I'm here for recreation. I mean, it loses stress. And I'm ill anyway, and I don't have the best of prowess, so um, I think we'll stay on recreation so we can lose stress rather than try and hunt it ourselves. My hawk takes a perch and keenly spies across the landscape. In a flash, the bird descends upon something and turns to a frenzy once it has reached its prey. It pecks and claws at something on the ground, though I cannot see what. I hurry over to the frantic screeching hawk and find it having... A uh, hawing not over a dead beast, but a small collection of coins and trinkets. <laughs> the value doesn't seem to be extravagant, and I'm sure I wouldn't be able to find the original owner even if I wanted to. I got 50 gold, and we lose stress. The hunt was profitable. What? Okay, I'm, I'm glad I came now. Wow, lucky, luck is on my side, it seems. Uh, Mohammed of Ray has been admiring my bird since we first piloted for a hunt, and I can hardly blame him. Such a magnificent, beautiful beast it is. We near a small river, rich and busy with fish of generous size, and I feel that this is a perfect opportunity to show what my hawk can do. My falconry skills will impress. Uh, we could, I mean, we lose some stress, which is important, but we, we also lost, yeah, we failed. I mean, that's fine. We came to lose stress. We got gold. I, I've got everything I wanted to out of this hunt already. Mohammed's game master signaled the party to hush. We have arrived at the release spot. From our vantage point, we can see several sandy hairs in the mountain up ahead. The party halts uh, as we prepare to remove our bird's hoods and set them one by one to their sport. It is time! Hopefully we succeed, but I feel like we will not. Let's see. Oh, wait, did he do it? He did it? I think the hunt was successful. It was? Our party seemed to be beset by every misery that Shaitan could conjure, and I'm almost relieved to leave the mountains behind me. The hawks have done us proud in their hunt for heirs. Yes. I get 187 prestige. That's fixed our, our problems. Okay, let's finish the hunt and head back home then. We got hunter experience for falconer as well. Um, What's this? Declare wars? Not yet. Let's return home first. At long last, I am finally home. There is nothing better than arriving back in Badgerspen after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time, but the call cool of the road beckons ever onward. My entourage reports that we journeyed for 81 days. Thank Anna. I can go inside once more. And we've gained the trait Traveler. Ah. Uh, we also got Traveler experience. So we are now a Traveler. We get Diplomacy and Opinion of Traveler characters. And we are already a Hunter. And we're leveling Falconeer. Right. Uh, but sadly, guys, that's going to be it for today. So we did a nice special one-hour episode here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of powerful neighbors and uh, future enemies once we convert, don't we? Oh, once we reveal our true faith, there's going to be a whole host of problems. Uh, but first, in the next episode, we're going to go for this war and then maybe look at trying to overthrow my leech. Even murder him because he does have that hook on me. But that's it for today, guys. If you've liked part one, then please give it a like and a, a comment. Help boost the algorithm and whatnot. And I will see you next time.